final of senior league so team so engineers with two in uh, so I'd like to invite the first speaker of proposition team well Joseph Viserionovich Stalin said education is a weapon the effect of which depends on who holds it in his hands and we absolutely agree with this statement but before that, a very good morning to the honorable panel of judges, our amazing opponents, our audience, and our uh, precise timekeeper, and of course, my dear teammate. As the first speaker of the proposition team today, I will introduce our, our team's arguments and convince you that uh, we should give teachers the choice of their own method. So, um, also, uh, I will give you some examples uh, of uh, how the freedom of choice will uh, um, connect with the teachers and their personality. Our second speaker will continue our argumentation line by discussing how valuable is this choice and our third speaker will summarize our debates and leave you in no doubt that choice is the best uh, thing in a teacher's life. Uh, so, uh, now I would like to uh, talk about our definitions and uh, today we have uh, three key words in our uh, topic uh, teachers to choose and own teachers method. Teachers uh, is someone who instructs and trains, give knowledge to people. To choose is to decide what to do and own teachers teaching methods is individual, creative and non-violent approach to teaching children, for example, or other people. Uh, and uh, now let's talk about, uh, and uh, from this definition we can understand that our site would like to allow someone who instructs, trains and gives knowledge to people decide what individual, creative and non-violent approach to choose and uh, um, we propose uh, to create a model where teachers will be in demand as a profession and uh, are very important in our society. Actuality of uh, this uh, topic is that our state is now very uh, severe, severely in, uh, restricting the ability of teachers and uh, this is the main problem of this topic and we should um, to struggle with this. And, uh, the, the, so, and let's talk about values of our site. Um, we value teachers as individuals and do not limit their abilities. But uh, opposition side uh, wants to limit their abilities, so um, we think that it's not, uh, that it's a wrong uh, approach. approach. Uh, so, now I would like to tell you our uh, two arguments. Our first argument sounds like uh, growth of uh, the personality and profession of teachers and our second argument sounds like uh, teachers influence on children. Uh, now, I would like to open our first argument, um, growth of the personality and profession of teachers. Well, uh, by giving uh, teachers the freedom of choice, we give them the freedom of their personality and so uh, we give them the freedom of development and uh, we all understand that uh, the more teachers develop the better they become and so uh, the better they give uh, information the better they teach other people and uh, um, as uh, for example we have uh, the project launched on the in it uh, launched by uh, the president of uh, uh, the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, uh, that sounds like um, the best uh, teacher of the year. And uh, our side thinks that this project ac actually gives uh, that development to teachers uh, that uh, don't give our system of education. Yes, we have this uh, project, but we didn't change the system of education and teachers don't have freedom of choice. But this freedom of choice actually gives uh, the opportunity to teachers to become better and um, come 
competition, this competition and uh, individual approach gives uh, uh, the prestige uh, of this profession. And we understand uh, that now, actually in our country, uh, we have uh, a little, not so many teachers and not so many people want to become teachers because uh, this uh, freedom of choice is one of the aspects and uh, we, our side, thinks that this aspect is uh, like very important uh, and uh, if, uh, for example, uh, it was... Uh, so we have uh, a lot of professions. For example, this is uh, the popularity of teachers profession now and this is the popularity of, uh, for example, economic profession. Uh, but if we will give uh, the freedom of choice to teachers, uh, this uh, um, panel will uh, grow and uh, we think that it will grow better and the teacher uh, will become uh, the profession uh, that is important in our country. So, um, in the end of my speech, uh, I would like to one more time say that let's be people, let's give teachers the freedom of choice, let's understand that they are, they have their own personality and this is vitally important in our country. Thank you for your attention. This house will allow teachers to choose their own teaching methods. Do we totally disagree with this motion? Um, we agree with the definition of our opponents, and I want to show the importance of this motions, uh, motion. Uh, nowadays, a lot of speeches, uh, are, oh, oh, sorry, a lot of uh, spheres are changing because uh, it's more wild, uh, lots of uh, uh, progress nowadays, and the uh, um, educational system also changes, so we need to find the right, uh, correct way of uh, future uh, development of the sphere. Uh, we value teachers' time and qualification. We value students as the majority, as, as the people who must prepare for... Uh, and we value, uh, we value teachers uh, who must prepare uh, students uh, for uh, exams. Uh, and now I'd like to continue and present... And, uh, Start with the reputation of our opponents. Uh, in the first argument, we talked about uh, freedom of choice uh, methods to teachers, uh, but we think that uh, it isn't um, it's, uh, important because uh, it is difficult for teachers. Uh, if we uh, allow them to choose uh, their own methods, it means that they would uh, have to prepare for the lessons more. They would have to create their own ways of teaching. Uh, they would think about how to change, how, how to um, make a, a lesson and uh, it needs more uh, time uh, they, that they need to spend. But uh, not each, not every teacher would like to do this, and would have desire to do this, so uh, we can't uh, uh, prove that it would be reliable, that uh, it would be uh, good methods. And also this, uh, our opponents say that uh, uh, teachers um, uh, don't want to go, um, Many young, uh, young youth don't want to go to teaching because uh, uh, they have freedom. But we think that the main idea why uh, people don't want to go to, uh, to um, teachers is because uh, bad conditions of work and because low So that's what influenced the decision to go to the teachers or not to go. And now I want to continue and present you our case. Uh, our first argument is common system is a guarantee to pass exams. And our second argument is not every teacher can create working methods of teaching. So, we cannot prove that uh, allowing teachers to choose their own uh, teaching methods is a good idea because uh, their methods are absolutely subjective thing and uh, uh, the majority might be against it. A uh, teacher would teach like he wants and not like he has to teach. And, uh, we can say that it is reliable, that it would work for the majority of the students and they, uh, it would be the right methods for them. Uh, okay, we have 
uh, Jerry have a common system for students and uh, it's uh, adjusted to average students and we can see that this system works because the majority pass exams every year, the majority studies and uh, 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 for example, yeah, the majority still pass it and uh, uh, it means that uh, we have good uh, uh, system. But even um, uh, <clears throat> um, if we allow teachers to, uh, to te uh, teach students with their own methods, we, we have some trouble because we, it would be much difficult to uh, attend this, evaluate, evaluate, evaluate students in the future because uh, each teacher will give different knowledges and different methods and uh, it means that uh, Students with same marks on the same subject may have different knowledges because uh, of different methods, and it's difficult because uh, we haven't common system and we haven't we don't we wouldn't know how to evaluate students. Uh, and also, if you look at the uh, university studies where each teacher would study uh, students, uh, or oh, sorry, teach students uh, with. Uh, uh, different methods, it uh, would uh, uh, be a problem for students in the future of their job. For example, let's take, let's take uh, some doctors, uh, surgeries. surgeries. Uh, if they had different views on their profession, on the, how to work with their profession, it would be much, uh, much more difficult for them to work uh, together in the future. Uh, so, uh, the fact is that common system is uh, the most comfortable way of studying people because uh, it uh, have the same standards, you have uh, um, uh, same methods, so it's uh, um, it would be comfortable to teach and to study for students uh, with this system. That's all I want to say. Thank you for your attention. Good morning, ladies friends and gentlemen. I am the second speaker of the proposition team. My name is Nijan. Uh, structure of my speech. Uh, first of all, we we'll have to make a refutation of our opponent and next to present uh, our second argument. Uh, that sounds like approach to the class depending. Oh, sorry. Teachers include on children. Okay. Um, on, on our first argument, uh, first speaker said that uh, open method is not important. It is difficult to do it, teacher that. But uh, how for teacher it, it will be difficult if uh, there are a lot of methods and teacher can choose one of them. Uh, uh, he don't uh, explain in your way this material. You can probably choose the method, and this is all. It's not difficult. Uh, it's not important. So it's important, I think, we study first speech. Uh, you also said that uh, many people didn't want to write te teachers because of bad conditions. Bad conditions, it is also limit of freedom. And uh, let's. Uh, so part of the problem, uh, there are a lot of problems of a lot of uh, jobs. And we can solve uh, some problems in in teaching. Um, your first argument sounds like comment system is a guaranteed bad system. Uh, you said that majority of people uh, pass the exam and uh, the exam uh, it didn't. Uh, Change, um, but we will uh, um, change the methods, not uh, education system. Uh, exams will stay. Uh, they looks like in this year and the, in the next year um, they will be look this way also. And so when teacher explain your material, he uh, want, he use one method or combinations of methods. Uh, he explain material that uh, 
be or will be in that course in something. Uh, is it even fair that some students might teach with the one methods that are more effective than others and hope will be harder for them to pass the exam? Uh, teacher uh, choose the method that the children will understand. This, uh, this method will affect us to speak of. We teach our plans uh, choose a method that uh, don't help for people, for students. Okay, uh, my argument uh, teaches influence on children. Uh, society is uh, developing, the growth is developing. Uh, there are a lot of uh, stereotypes, uh, life changing, including their attitude to school, attitude to the events, and another, another thing. Uh, education, it is the children. It is a, um, who carry their potential, uh, their success, their talent. And if uh, connection with students and teachers will be on the high level, uh, the students will be uh, learn more uh, hardly, learn hard, hardly. Uh, the question of what a modern teacher should be, what knowledge, skill, quality, and uh, uh, should protect is being activity today. The personality of the teacher, teacher and the child are in constant in integration. Uh, the teacher forms, develops and educates his students, becoming for them uh, like an example. And uh, uh, children, when look at the teacher, how he explains the material, they think, wow, it is really not hard. I would like to more uh, to know more about this. Right. Yes. No, thank you. In our world, uh, the teacher teaches and educates children and uh, taking into account their psychological characteristics and the specifics of the child subject. Uh, the teacher must remember that the students are going to meet their equal, do not claim equality, and knowledgeable and rich person. Thus, uh, when using their teaching methods, uh, children will learn all the material uh, with a convenient way, and uh, the level of uh, education will increase. Uh, that's all. Thank you. So, I'd like to invite the second speaker of the opposition team to the world. about um, if students will go to the lesson and see wow teacher jokes jokes teacher uh, loud teacher um, have a good connection with, uh, with his students uh, it will be great and it is a huge method uh, and we will love to give a teacher freedom and also but if teacher joke on lesson, if teacher loud and have a good connection with other students, it's not the same like his or her own method. It's just the way like teacher leads the, his lesson or her lesson. Um, so I want to continue with uh, our second argument and if there will be enough time, I will do a rebuttal. So, our uh, second argument was about not every teacher can create a working method of teaching. So they have a little uh, teacher have a little base of working with child uh, children, but not full advanced education um, of psychologists, uh, for example. There are a lot of professionals like methodologists, uh, children, child uh, psychologists, and other. For example, methodics is a profession who was created for control the quality of education, and it is a professional in this uh, work. 
uh, is there additional education and uh, not every teacher can work like met methodologist. Um, so with this knowledge they can't take ideas from the head and say wow I want this method. No, they work like um, government uh, says it like um, they form the teaching method based on standards which uh, before them was uh, created by more and more education people for years. So that's for create the best methods. The, uh, that's for create <laughs> for create the best methods, the, the most working and the most comfortable for teachers and students too. It just uh, if we uh, give freedom for some random teacher and this random teacher creates his own method or choose his own method and uh, add something uh, in this. Uh, we just would you? Yeah. We just, just get the not working method. Uh, maybe it will be harmful for students. And uh, it's uh, no guarantee the teacher won't be angry for them, uh, themselves and for their students by, by this. And uh, that, without a doubt, will decrease the level of education. It will be unethical. Also, no one knows that harmful it will be for students. It remind you, I remind you that teaching methods were created by men, no, no professional educators. So, a big chance that it will be harmful and not working and not comfortable for teachers and students. So, I want to uh, take, uh, give a rebuttal or a refutation uh, on the first argument of our opponents. And uh, in your second speech, you uh, talk about uh, choosing a method of education, but firstly you talk about personality, about influence personality, and I have a question. Does the influence personality, uh, influence and personality, is about choose only choose the method? No, it uh, mean it uh, it means that teacher add something in this method. Maybe choose but add and also create uh, modernize like uh, they they want. Uh, and I want uh, to also disagree with the uh, ideas uh, idea about teacher uh, will be level of teacher will increase by the um, but the allow, allow the method of choose the method of education. But it's not the main reason why people uh, why teacher go in this work. Because teaching go in this work in this work because they love children, because they love to uh, be a teacher, because um, they, their mom work and others as others, others. If we uh, give more and more work for teacher, it's not the reason, it's not the reason why teacher will say well, I wanna, I wanna work, 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 and work. If we want to uh, privilege, attract a uh, teacher to the work, we need maybe to uh, mm, give her a remote. <laughs> uh, maybe we need to some financial uh, our schools. We need uh, get more kind. Salary, and that's why we think that we shouldn't allow teacher to choose your own, choose their own way. Thank you for your attention. Well, good afternoon, one more time, honorable judges, precise time people, and fellow debaters. The topic for today's debate uh, is still uh, this house would allow teachers to choose their own teaching methods. And uh, we are the proposition team strongly believe that this statement is obviously true. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before I start my rebuttals, let me clarify all the points that were given by opposition side in the previous speech. Uh, well, uh, so... Uh, in the previous speech, uh, um, 
to our second argument. So the second speaker of the opposition team says that uh, when teacher jokes, uh, has the good connection with the children, uh, has the cute method, like they said, uh, it's not uh, the same uh, uh, method as like teaching. But uh, in the first speech, uh, we had the definition that own teaching method is individual, creative, and non-violent approach to teaching ch to teach children. And um, in this definition, we say that um, it's not only creative uh, a method uh, with some jokes and connection. It's also teaching method. So this uh, teacher trains children with the help of this connection. And so how it uh, can be uh, really bad if uh, the connection between uh, teacher and child is vitally important because uh, child, if child and teacher don't have the connection, then child won't really, um, won't really uh, learn this, uh, for example, subject and won't really like this subject. Uh, so, um, also, um, they in the previous speech said about bad conditions of work in our educational system for teachers, but uh, when we talk about bad conditions, we talk about uh, this freedom of choice too. So we have uh, bad conditions and they have a lot of, a lot of like one, two, three reasons. And in our uh, topic, we find the um, method to um, to solve this problem of choice of uh, this uh, teaching method. So uh, we solve uh, one of the big problems. Uh, also, to our uh, first argument, they said that um, um, teachers need more time to spend to do their own teacher, teaching programs. But a teacher can choose comfortable program. So. If they choose comfortable, comfortable pro program, uh, then this comfortable program will uh, do their lives in the future easier. Because yes, they will um, uh, sorry. spend, uh, spend uh, uh, for example, uh, one day to do this program, but later this teacher will be in the comfortable position. Uh, he will uh, do like he is comfortable. Uh, so. Um, Opposition team had uh, the first argument that sounds like subject subjective uh, that uh, teachers' methods are sub subjective, and they said that uh, the majority pass exams uh, every year. Uh, but um, we, in our second argument, say that uh, teacher finds own um, solution to uh, talk with children because. Um, you come to the class and every child is individual, but uh, this teacher, with the help of this freedom, can find uh, the solution to um, teach this class, for example. And um, uh, we think that this is uh, the system of education that really uh, will help our children in the future to become better because they will develop and they will uh, like this uh, uh, like these uh, subjects, and uh, uh, maybe one day they will become someone really, um, someone really smart, and so we will be proud of these people. Uh, so, um, also uh, there was a point to our uh, second speaker about that uh, if methods are different, then it's hard to, to children to understand like uh, one. Teacher has one method, another teacher has other method, but um, of course every teacher has his own method, but subject is different and every subject needs different methods, of course. Like, uh, we can't um, talk about one method of uh, teaching different subjects, like every teacher is different, every, every, every Pupil is individuality, and every teacher will find own comfortable way, not only to him, but also to other children. Uh, well, um, they had the second argument that sounds like uh, not every teacher can create uh, individual program, like um, own teaching methods, and uh, uh, they said about Methodists, 
uh, that this is a person who creates work like a standard. But really, let's think, uh, do we have the right solution now in our education? Do really these methods on the right way? We, our side, thinks that um, Methodists are not the way to uh, solve this problem. So, in the end of my speech, I would like to say that um, into individuality of uh, uh, teaching uh, program is not uh, the solution only for teachers, but, only, uh, but also for students. Thank you. Team. Glad to see my lovely teammates and dear opponents. I'd like to start my speech with the reputation of our opponents and then make a rebuild of our own arguments. So the first argument was about roles of personality, which includes two main points. One about expressing the personality and second about uh, making uh, popularity of a teacher, of a job of a teacher higher. Well, first point about expressing the personality, I'd like to say that it's first of all not at all priority of a teacher. Top priority of a teacher is giving kids knowledge and creating a comfortable environment for them to study and to start to like and study so they will be able to study on their own and the university in the future, if we are talking about school, for example. For the second point about rising popularity on the job, because as our opponents say, we will get rid of one um, uncomfortable condition, it's not so. We will only make it harder, because different methods will, first of all, create cracks in the community, since there will be a method who talks about, oh, my method is better. No, my method is better. Why are you talking about your both wrong? My method is so much superior. But this is not so. Uh, this is Sure. Okay, uh, but when we talk about teachers, teachers are smart people, and I don't, our side don't think that teachers will uh, have uh, such uh, speech. Okay, I agree. Yes, sure, people are very smart, and teachers exactly, but if we have a system with different individual and creative methods, it will definitely lead to some misconceptions, misunderstanding, and uh, basically a rose of competition. And the rising of competition leads to more competitive spirit, and the more competitive spirit leads to what I said about earlier, which will only increase the level of misconceptions and misunderstanding, and something that teachers would simply don't want to participate in. Secondly, creating a whole new program or just choosing and saving new methods is really exhausting and it will lead to a teacher having full responsibility of their students and their students might judge them if they don't like the method or they might compare them to other teachers behind their back and it will be so exhausting and will lead to a whole new level of anxiety for teachers which is already high enough with the pressures that they get from authorities, uh, from other teachers, from colleagues and students and students' parents and so on and so on and so on. Now I'd like to say about the second argument, which was about a teacher's influence, but I would like to say that teachers who influence kids are most likely supportive, nice, understandable, and simply professional. Our system and its methods that are common doesn't restrict teachers from being understanding, kind, nice, supportive, and professional, but it does help kids point out the teachers who are actually interested in communicating with them and helping them and pointing out from those who are always burned out and tired. And this system with new methods won't make burned out teachers more lively and nice. They will just give them extra work and extra working hours and overtime that they won't be happy about at all. And that will lead to some misconceptions with students because they need to let us team somewhere and where they can do it on work and they are working with children, which isn't really it. Now I'd like to go for a rebuild of our own argument. Our first argument was about the common system which includes grade testing, exams, and so on and so forth. And our opponents replied that it's not going to be hard to create a whole new method because they can simply choose the one that already exists and is comfortable, which I'd like to point out simply doesn't correspond with their definition about methods being unique and creative. Because how making something unique and creative is the same with simply getting something that already exists and putting it into work. And okay, let's imagine that they're right and they can just choose a method that already exists. They still need to make it and integrate it into the system. They still need to write a whole bunch of programs for different grades and so on and so forth. Because for example, if it's a geography teacher, 
they need to make a program for 5th, 6th and up to 11th grade. That's a lot and that's a different system and this system must be updated every month a year and it's a lot of things uh, 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 uh. Thank you very much. 
Um, so I want to compare our two worlds. Uh, in our world, uh, teacher uh, teach according to the common system, uh, and um, it will increase the level of education. It will increase uh, the comfort of uh, teachers and students. Um, it will increase uh, the um, maybe desire to be a teacher. And uh, the, in the world of our opponents, uh, everyone may choose uh, and add and create our, their own methods of education. Uh, and it will lead to maybe to some conflicts, uh, like our third sp uh, speaker said. It will lead to misunderstanding behind the teacher. It, uh, it will lead to. Um, <laughs> Between exams, maybe, and, and uh, teaching methods, it will be uh, difficult to um, give a mark to uh, evaluate uh, the students uh, because of this method. So that's why uh, that's why we truly believe that the <laughs> sorry that we shouldn't regret uh, that we. <laughs> would not allow the teachers to choose their own way of education. Thank you very much. We would like to invite the vice speaker of our production team, please your welcome. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for this amazing day. Uh, just to be really interesting and then nice to give a strong summary of today's theme. Okay. Uh, structure of the speech I would like to compare to words and next uh, to highlight uh, some fake flash points. Okay, uh, in world our opponents there are few teachers because they pay attention to little things like uh, rough years, <laughs> uh, school administration, women teachers and it's very influence for them. But not uh, in our world uh, we have teachers who can express themselves uh, freely. Uh, good teach students and uh, the edu education level uh, is rising. Okay, uh, there are um, two flash points in our game. First, uh, express opinion of teacher method. Uh, our opponent uh, said that the main task uh, of teacher is studying, even if you cram. Uh, but we say, uh, of course, uh, the Many um, task of teacher is studying, but uh, we uh, allow teachers to use uh, different methods to either uh, preserve. Uh, next, uh, teacher is the set of methods. Uh, you uh, say that it is hard to invent your own method, but we say that you can choose one of the methods and uh, you can also. Uh, invent your open method, but uh, if you spend too time to day to create this method, uh, uh, then you it will be easier to teach people about your open method with everyone. Uh, our opponents and, me, and uh, my team uh, present to you a case contain two arguments. Um, their first argument was about uh, my system is a guarantee to pass the exam. Uh, in their argument, they said about uh, method of the teacher uh, is not uh, yes. instructed instruct, uh, to pass the exam. But we said that uh, the education system is not uh, is not changed and we only uh, choose the method and uh, the result was uh, uh, great. Uh, their second argument they said about that if you would like children you can uh, be not the teacher, you can uh, be a psychologist and uh, so on. And, but we said that uh, it wants to work with uh, children, it is, uh, you may be teacher and you uh, 
uh, can use your own methods uh, because uh, it is uh, allowed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you.